Sarah Bannis here, Spectrum Weavers. I am going to show you today how to feather the edges of an image so that you can use it for sublimation or print then cut um, any print project. So this is a super easy um, technique. So let's go ahead and get to work here. I'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Uh, before we go any further, if this video is of help to you, like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. Um, I come out with new videos probably once a week or so. Once you're subscribed, you'll get a notification when the new videos come out. So, um, also, join me on Facebook. We have a ton of super big, super helpful, friendly uh, silhouette groups. Um, I will link Cricut and Silhouette for beginners. It's not really beginners. Um, it's all skill levels and just a super friendly, helpful. It's about 190,000 members at this point, I believe. Um, just a really great group. You'll fit right in. I'll link that in the description. Make sure you come join us. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm actually also going to link everything I use here. I'll link this set. This is a set of about, mm, I would say 10 or so. I didn't count them, but a whole bunch of different patterns like this for doing this type of work. Um, you'll want this set specifically for silhouette. The reason behind that is that most of these type of images, these faux bleaching images, um, are PNG format. The PNG, there, there's so much information in these. The PNG format um, tends to freeze up Silhouette Studio just because it's too much for, it tries to trace it immediately and just too much information. So this set, I actually went to one of the designers and I um, told him about that issue. And so he built this set, which is an SVG set of them specifically for this purpose. So I'll link this, like I said, I'll link it in the description um, so that you can locate it. So now let me quickly just show you we can move this over here. We can actually get rid of that. So let me quickly just show you this set. Um, so you see how it selected a ton, a ton, a ton of separate pieces. He did that on purpose. So with the way this is set up, you can remove, you can get rid of parts of it. If there's, if there's pieces of the image that you don't want, you can get rid of it so you can kind of reshape it yourself. But like I said, there's, I mean, there's like 10 separate ones in there, all different shapes. So um, you can really customize what you're looking for. So what you want to do is you want to select all of this and then right click, make compound path. You want this all one. Okay. And then what you want to do, take this over here, take your image and make it a little bit bigger. And you want to make a shape that is larger than your image that will cover your image, but make it quite a bit larger than your image. The reason behind that is you, when you do it like this, I'll just show you real quick. When you do it like this, you're going to be able to, and I'm going to reduce this down you're going to be able to move this around on your image um, so that you can pick the exact part of the image that you want to use, that you want to clip. And see how that's behind? Right click, bring to front. And then I'm going to put that right about right there, like this over here. And then I'm going to select these two and then go over here to your transformation and modify panel and click subtract all. I'd give it a second. It's quite a bit of information. Go. You can get rid of this now. And there's your clipping mask. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that we can move it around. And now you can see here, so this is the image that I used. I actually really, really like um, these leaves. It's just, I don't know, vibrant, pretty. Uh, but of course, you can use any image you want. You can picture your kids or you know any, any squared off image that you're trying to feather the edges of. 
sorry, this is just one that I chose. But now you can see, so now I can kind of move that around on there so that I can get exactly what I want. So I think that looks good right there. And now you're going to select both of these and again, click subtract all. It's really that simple. So now you can click on this and get rid of this. And now what you want to do is you want to select all of this. Oh, you know, I didn't do it separately. Good. We're perfect. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions at all, you can ask them in the video description. I'm sorry, in the, in the video question area. Um, or, you know, ask me directly on Facebook either way. Make sure you do come join us on Facebook. You're going to love the group. It's I make files and give my, you know, my own designs, give them away fairly often. Um, lots of tutorials, just a great group of people. Um, so join us there. I'll link that in the description. I'll also link the specific set. Like I said, you're going to want an SVG, not a PNG set. So I'm going to link the set that I use. This is a great set. Um, and I'll also link the leaves just because they're super pretty. Uh, but that's it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Uh, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.